In this video today, I'm going to show you how to get Windows running in your uh, Android device right now. How are we doing everyone? This is Dario from MediaBox ENT. And uh, Menina, what are we going to be doing today? You're going to be running Windows in an Android device. Yes. Holy crap. Holy crap. Make sure you talk to the phone next time. If this is the first time on MediaBox ENT, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Yes, like I can share in the video, we're going to be running Windows. Windows what? Windows 95. That's your web. I'm going to give you all the clues and all these things you need to do to get try to get Windows 90, 90 uh, Windows XP, a, a Windows 8, and Windows 10, 64, and 32 bit. But definitely get Windows 95 running. So check this video up and I show you step by step all the things you gotta do to get one of the nine devices to run in Windows system. And if you wanna run Ubuntu, I'm gonna give you the links right now in the video to run Ubuntu. And that works <laughs> nice Ubuntu. and beautiful in one of these devices. So we're gonna run the application called Limbo. You need to get Limbo from the Google Store. Ooh, like that's a song. Yeah, Limbo the game too. This, we're gonna click and we're gonna execute Limbo, all right? So this is the first thing we get. So now let's run window. First, I tell you the steps you need to make. So what I did first, there's two ways we can do this. And let me switch back into my uh, screen. Let, let's switch to that screen. Uh, what I did here, I put the USB drive. You can, we can run the image to a USB drive, or we can run the image inside inside the box. We can do either way. You can you can put in the downloads directory, or you can put inside the limbo directory. My case, I just put inside the U regular USB drive. Okay. Some there are two gigabytes. The Windows 10 and 8, I think they are about two gigabytes each. Uh, Windows 95, they are like 400K. They are pretty small, a half gigabyte. They are not a big uh, files, okay? All right. So let's go back to the box. All right. Oh, okay. Now there. Let's appear myself out of there. Okay. So we are into the box. So the first thing we got to do, okay? So we need, we need to create a new machine, okay? So it's none here. So let's create a new one. So we start from fresh. We're gonna create this. We're gonna call it. Uh, we're gonna call it Win. And I say to you, 95, right? We're gonna call this Win 95. And I give you the configuration right now. Okay, what you need to do? Okay, so we're gonna run the next 96. Okay, architecture. And we're gonna leave uh, CPU model. We're gonna run the whatever you pronounce that. Uh, Q QNN 32 Q Moon. 32 <laughs> we're gonna do not go more than one processors okay one core okay i don't care what box you're running and memory wise the matching number you can choose whatever you want but always the matching number is 512 512 i wonder why you always say 512 is in memory 512 now we're gonna run this in the drive a okay and we're gonna get it we need to get the image okay so when you go open and we can either get it from the downloads directory or we can put it anywhere we want. In my case, I have an external drive, so I'm gonna click here. And if you guys see already, I do have the image here. I will give you all the links later on, okay? They have to, they don't have time to put all this together, so I'm gonna give you the link there. And we're gonna run Windows 95 image. We click OK. We leave the rest on. There is a lot of stuff we can play around later on in the future, okay? Even SD cards, we can uh, map a drive. Now for a VGA display, we're gonna leave that the way it is. Okay, STD, we're gonna leave the sun card off. We can choose network and all the stuff to play in the future. I didn't try that. No kernels. And we're gonna choose for the screen, okay? This only thing you need to do at this point. When it's done, okay? We're gonna click start. And let's wait the magic. Okay, stars starting Windows 95. I will show you in a second how to get the uh, Windows 95 running. If you guys can figure out, please let me know. Windows 95. All right, so it's in one. <laughs> so so we got here running Windows Windows. Uh, I'm not gonna execute any programs, but look, we have it running. So 
how you get into here if you see here i press nothing yeah can you need to graph you're going to press the left button and you grab your arrow and you move your arrow you hold your left button your mouse you move your arrow you go right in the tab and then now you press two times okay and look that's it even you got your c drive you got everything so once again we need to move that arrow right there and then we click okay look so the big pointer or the big arrow they don't need to be exactly in that point you need just to move move that one hey and it took a little bit of time now let's get windows 8 or windows 10 so the way to we shut down this up we're going to press the right button of the mouse okay and we go right over there in, and then here as we see that even we can do control delete we can re we can actually see the machine go the taskbar we're going to click shut down we're going to click yes here we're going to go and let's type a new let's type a new uh, new and we're going to go uh uh that's a, that's a wrong keyboard you know windows 8.1 because that's what i do have we'll create that sorry so model we need to go into pentium 3 okay and core we're going to choose four core at this point okay and memory wise we're going to go and choose 512 512 512 the magic number we're going to mine something okay <laughs> all right yeah i talk about it on okay so and then uh and we do uh hard drive and then we're going to go in low open i again i have an external drive but that can be and as you see guys here let me see i got windows 1064 but i want windows 8 for now for the purpose of this video windows 8 very important we need to put up from cd you need to do this twice different from windows xp so from windows nt windows xp i got it running but uh, there's something's run on it there so we're going to load from cd and once again uh we need to load the same image so twice we're going to see a drive let's have to do something with the partition we can if we want uh display we're going to choose um Cirrus display and if we want a sound car it should allow me some car i don't know why it have to be okay so network and if you want a uh, network car uh yeah, why they don't let me they're supposed to allow me that i don't know why i will leave that for next time we are right there make sure you have full screen and you need to click high right there okay very important you need to click those things so right now i don't know why it should allow me i don't understand why it allow me because i did that uh to some car it has to be 16 can't remember exactly and oh that's fine network car and that's what you got to choose n2k pci very important all right that's your network car and that will be it at that point we can execute this and let's start the magic and let's see what happens. Maybe surprise me starting actually. But we'll boot up, you will see. Okay. I have it, you see now it starts. Okay. Okay. So now um I have the same same problem you're gonna see now. I do have the same exactly problem, okay. I do have the same exactly problem on Windows 10. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let me disappear myself for a second again. And as we see the boot it up logo of Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, it has it's the same thing, right? We wait a little bit, let's see what happened. But it should show up in an error in a minute. Okay, that's what I have. Okay, UPC need to restart. Please hold the button. You see that? And that's my problem. What happened? That, that's what happened. What do you mean that's your problem? That's what happened. It didn't work. It was me oh, to reset. I don't know if I don't know. I don't know what that is anyway. Yeah, I don't know either. Oh, okay. So now what? That's why I'm asking help to the guys over there. Oh, you took that. That's the mining. No, I'm not mining anything right now. I'm 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 running Windows 8.1 um, on it. Okay. As you see in the video, I they give you to run Windows 95. Try Windows XP. XP is exactly you're gonna follow the same step I show you. Same step I show you on Windows 95. For Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 64, the only difference, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to load the hard drive, you're going to load the image, you're going to load full screen, high priority, okay? 
And the only different one, and, and you're going to run Pentium 3, okay, four processes. The only different when you run in Windows 64 version, you're going to you're gonna change architecture to 64-bit, okay? You're going to change that. And let's see what happened. I don't think there's any problem with the image. I think the image will be okay. I can see other people using it, so I don't think it's, there's something maybe missing, or maybe the bugs are not compiled. Well, I don't think so. It'll be something that I didn't have time to discover, but I want to give it away to you guys so you guys can try and play around. I think it's a pretty cool thing to play around with this. All right, so guys, what do you think? Did you got this thing running? Or make sure you, I'm sure you're going to be running some Windows 95 or Windows 10. If you guys did resolve the problem I've been running in this video, please leave me a comment. Let me know the fix. Because uh, as you see there, I'll try many things. I give you all the clues and all the things you need to do to get the thing running. But they figure out something different. I will be real nice because it is not going to help me only. You're going to help the whole community, the whole media box. users are trying to figure out as well how to get Windows 8 and 10 running one of these devices. And I'll see you next time in my super videos. Bye. How you doing, everyone? Uh, you this is Dario doing? from Media Box. <laughs> what happened? This is Dario from Media Box ENT, and today is Friday, the 26th of May. This is the English version or whatever. And once again, this is Dario from Media Box, and right over there, behind, behind my main.